Hello there, pink eyeshadow trends may come and go, but my love of this shadow shade is eternal. It's a colour that might not sound convincing, but once you've found your particular pink shade and style, it won't make you look unwell. I've actually never been much of a pink person, but I'm so drawn to the colour on the eyes. Not only because it makes green eyes pop in particular, but because there are so many pink possibilities. It's not all pastels or candy colours, there are dusty rose, natural blush or pink lemonade shades. Shades, washed out watermelons, subtle shimmers or bubblegum brights, peachy pinks, punchy pinks, berry pinks, you get the idea. I guess I consider pink eyeshadow a neutral because it works well with so many lip colours. I've mentioned many times that pink shadow and a classic red lip is one of my all time favourite makeup combinations, but you can also match it with a nude or brown lipstick for a more subdued look, a peach in spring, an orange red in summer, a berry or really dark shade in winter, or a rosewood lip colour at work. I'll save a highlight on my Instagram at MatildaOnVideo where you can find plenty of pink eyeshadow inspiration. In this video I've rounded up a range of those different types of pinks in the form of palettes, eyeshadow sticks and liquids, powders and creams. But here's the best bit. If you own a pinky blush, you own a pink eyeshadow, so I'll run through some multitasking makeup ideas too to embrace a monochrome look. I'm so happy to be continuing my partnership with By Terry this year as their Australian ambassador, so part of this video is in paid partnership with the brand to share some of the lovely rosy products in their range. You will have met many of them on my channel before. Let's start thinking pink with some palettes. No need to find a palette made up entirely of pinks because there are often a couple included in other colour schemes. I've got some metallics, mattes, peachy, rosy, coral and more subtle pinks here. By Terry's VIP expert palette called Paris Mon Amour is a romantic pink place to start. After two successful Paris inspired palettes last year, they've brought out a new combination of 10 smooth shades to channel the romance of the city of love. I love the little embossed Parisian landmarks, I've already worn down the Eiffel Tower quite a bit. The soft metallic pearly pink was actually the hero product in a recent magazine shoot with Phoebe Diniver, the beautiful actress from Bridgerton. I also love the coppery pink next to it with a gold flip, I wore that to a wedding recently. All of the other shades complement those pinks so nicely. You could play with the metallic red as a liner or layer one of the deep chocolates to add depth. If you're more of a peachy pink person, the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes Velvet Eyeshadow Palette has a couple of perfect colours right in the middle. Just Peachy is a fantastic springtime pastel, but Peach Punch next to it is more of a coral, so it shows you just how many different kinds of tones you can play with to get your personalised pink eyeshadow look just right. If you're after a natural one minute, playful the next palette, the M Cosmetics Divine Skies palette in Magic Hour is such a pretty family of six. The matte rose all over the lid, then the more toasted rosewood in the crease and on the outer corner, beautiful. Why not pop a bit of shimmer on the centre of the lid to brighten the eyes too? M Cosmetics also make this palette in their faded clementine colour family, so let me know if you'd like me to update my old orange eyeshadow video. Finishing with a more subtle style of pink palette if you're just getting into this shade range. Charlotte Tilbury's luxury palette in Pillow Talk is one of her best selling quads. The subtle rosebud and rosy brown mattes are my most used shades, but the champagne shimmer and gold glitter give you room to add sparkle and fun for a night out too. If you're after a quick swipe and smudge kind of shadow, here are some sticks and liquids. By Terry's famous Ombre Black Star formula was one of my first choices for my recent one and done eyeshadow video. These are incredibly pigmented and creamy and create long lasting colour once you blend them in. Rose Elixir is one of my favourites from last year's Summer Trio, a really cool icy light pink shimmer to draw all over the lid or make the inner corners of your eyes pop. I also wanted to include one of their original and most loved shades, Misty Rock. Who remembers seeing this colour on every British YouTuber back in the day? This is not a close relative or even a distant cousin of Rose Elixir. It's not even in the same pink family, but I wanted to include it to show how wide that shade family can be. If you're more of a smoky shadow lover, this shimmery, deep mauve, rose bronze, grey pink might be your preferred style. I'm a big fan of Laura Mercier's Caviar Stick Formula 2 and again this one shows you the range of roses you can work with. The shade Nude Rose is much more of a peachy pink, almost coppery compared to the two colours above. I've got my spring, winter and autumn pink sorted here. This formula also blends out nicely and won't budge once it sets, so I love applying these as a thick winged liner. 
time to meet one of my new favourite pink finds. I was recently sent the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable collection, which is a monochrome makeup lover's dream. A big swatching video is on the way, but this liquid shadow in Nearly Rose had to be included here. Truly love at first swipe with this shade. It's creamy, intense colour, but it blends so nicely with your fingertips. I think of this as a period drama kind of pink. Time for a few powders and you'll see we start moving into multitasking makeup territory pretty early on here. If you tuned into my Daphne Bridgerton makeup bag video, you'll be familiar with this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. Antique Rose was my suggestion for that super soft shadow style Phoebe Dinever wore in the show. I called it a my lids but better sort of colour for fair skin. It's really delicate and almost undetectable if you keep the application light. For this sort of style on deeper skin tones, keep an eye on the stronger pinks and soft berries coming up. Another fluttery look can be created with the Chantecaille Philanthropy Cheek Shade in Bliss. This is a blush, but I've referred to it as an eyeshadow before in my Celebrity Makeup Bag series because this was the product Lucy Boynton wore all over her eyes at the 2019 Oscars. One of the most beautiful pink shadow looks of all time, I think. I've been wearing this shade with Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Muse lipstick recently, and I love the way the baby pink and rosewood work together. More often than not, I look at blush shades and think, Oh, that'd be a great eyeshadow and that's exactly what happened here. The NARS powder blush in Dolce Vita is a deeper rosy berry. I always prefer this slightly more plum toned pink family compared to the peachy pink shimmer of their signature blush shade Orgasm. You don't need to dig an eyeshadow brush around much, it's really pigmented so you can create a berry eye with ease. Anytime you find a face palette with a blush, you've got a potential pink eyeshadow too. By Terry's best-selling Brightening CC palette, Sunny Flash from last summer has been brought back. They also have a brand new bright palette called Beach Bomb, which you'll meet in a future video. The soft rosy blush is a safe bet, but the punchy coral pink can be really fun on the eyes. To keep it looking really light and natural, just dust whatever's left on your blush brush across your eyes. I couldn't resist bringing in some cream blushes to finish things off and really drive that multitasking message home. The most popular product from my Daphne Bridgerton makeup bag video was this Stila Convertible Colour in Lilium. This exact shade was the secret to Daphne's English Rose flush in the series, and Lisa Eldridge has used it on Rosie Huntington Whiteley's cheeks before, but I love wearing this on my cheeks and eyes. Swiping a tiny bit of your blush colour quite high across the brow bone sort of ties the whole look together. Miranda Kerr shows this kind of place in her Vogue wedding makeup video. There seems to be a bit of a cream blush boom at the moment and a new formula I've been testing is the NARS Air Matte Blush. This is a super soft, whipped, mousse-like texture that has a more powdery feel and blurred effect on the cheeks. The shade Darling is called a light pink, but that makes me think of some of the pale colours we saw before, so it's more of a watermelon to me. It's very sheer, reasonably buildable, so it's more user-friendly if you want your blush to be barely there on the eyes. Manasi 7's All Over Colour Pots have been right at home in my videos recently. I love these little multitaskers by Suzanne Manasi Person, a makeup artist with East Indian heritage who creates shades that work beautifully for women of colour. Dianthus is a new release that might seem like quite a bold candy pink, but a sheer layer of this just brightens up the cheeks and eyes. I'll link a couple of photos below to show how it looks on deeper skin tones. I tried to highlight a few different pink tones in this video, so I wanted to bring in one true bubblegum bright to finish. I love Danessa Myrick's Colour Fix Matte Tubes, but this Colour Fix Matte Neon is one of the most adventurous colours I own. You can paint it all over the lid for plenty of pink drama, but I like drawing it on as a slick of graphic liner. Wow, how many times did I say the word pink in this video? I don't even want to know, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again to By Terry for working with me. I look forward to sharing some of their new launches with you soon. In the meantime, you can find those shimmery pops of pink on byterry.com and at Mecca in Australia. Let me know your favourite type of pink to wear on your eyes and if you'd like to see any other eyeshadow colour group videos like this in future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.